You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After Show. Hi everybody, Bing is for doing and here at AfterBuzz TV. We're doing another Project Runway Season 12, Episode 7, Shoes First Recap. I'm your host, Alina Akram, and these are my lovely co-hosts, including our special guest, Tara. Go ahead and introduce Hi, yourself. Guys. Hi, thank you for having me. This um, is Tara Gina. Gina. Pop -witch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Amanda Fields, <laughs> and to my left is... Hey, I'm Steph Z. <laughs> We have a lot of fun stuff to get into. Obviously, the episode's called Shoes First. Mm -hmm. Every girl's favorite accessory. Shoes. Yeah. Sneakers. Sneakers? Sneakers I for like you. Steph C., we want to see you in some heels. I can rock a heel. I can rock a red bottom. I've done it. You if have. I do it, I'm going to do it right. These <laughs> shoes? I have Christian Louboutin. I have, yes. Red Ooh. bottom. I have. I rocked them at a wedding. I have pictures. I'll bring them next week. Yeah. Okay. Need We're going to. proof. All right. Ooh, we're That's exciting. To that. I might even have a picture on my phone, but whatever. I'll show you later. <laughs> All right. Tara, tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started. Yeah, of course. I'm a professional dancer. Um, I'm Canadian originally. Did So You Think You Can Dance season two mm -hmm. and was lucky enough and I won the show. So, yeah, I got my visa. So now I live in L.A. I was in New York for a couple years. And you're a big Project Runway fan? I am. I love the show. Addicted. Oh. I, anything fashion. What do you think of this episode? Um, I like it, but there's a few people that we'll get into that I just want to punch in the face. <laughs> so <laughs> well, we'll get into that. But, yeah. All right. We like you. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Let's get right into the challenge. Um, so Heidi comes on to the stage with her all gold outfit, and she's wearing... We didn't love the dress. I didn't love the dress. No. It was kind of skinky. She I called it a naked dress. It was naked lingerie. It wasn't mm -hmm. even a dress. I'm all about the naked dress, wear a new dress, but I didn't like the fabric, the fit. Yeah. And it was and too not, close to the crotch. Not yeah. with yeah. those shoes, those gold strappy yeah. high heels. It made it look kind of trampy. Yeah, she looked like yeah. a little bit of a hooker. Yeah. Sorry. She wasn't wearing a classy naked dress. Mm. Not, nah, it, it, yeah. It was classy from like the waist up. It, was, this, it wasn't even like classy lingerie if it falls into that category. It, it was just a, wrong. Did you guys ever see the Sex and the City episode where <laughs> yes. Carrie Bradshaw wore the naked dress? Yes. 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 To perfection. Yeah. I didn't pull She it off. did a lot of things to perfection in that show, though, with mm -hmm. fashion. That's true. true. Anyway, she's wearing some interesting shoes, and she tells the designers, you guys are going soul-searching, and then we go um, <laughs> but to Marie cut. Claire's fashion closet. It's kind of awesome. And mm -hmm. the editor in chief of Marie Claire magazine, her name, excuse me, her name is Anne Fullenweider. Yes. I wonder if that's a German name. I think so. Yes. So she introduces the challenge to, to the designers that they have to choose a pair of shoes to create their outfit from, and. They do it a little different this time. There's no button bag, but there is a quiz. The fashion quiz, and we have to mention that they're in the accessory closet, and they only have a limited amount selection. of shoes. Yeah, selection of shoes, because supposedly that's the only shoes they have in various sizes. I don't buy it. I think yeah. they were just I wonder what the, making it more I wonder difficult. what, just like, for shits and giggles, I wonder what the, like, most, so like, the size is there. Like, the standard size. Like, the model six? size is yeah. 10, probably. Nine. Really? Nine, ten. Big oh, like really? Nine, yeah. Nine? They're all tall uh, girls. They're all tall, tall. big girls. Yeah, I'm yeah. an Oompa Loompa, so I was like six. So. <laughs> they're all, they're yeah, all tall. That makes sense. But right. you know what? A lot of sh samples come in size seven. Yeah. I don't know that's why. That's why when but, I go to yeah. sample sales, I, I always get the best shoes because it's all my size. But because yeah. it's Marie Claire, if they're shooting the shoes by itself, like a product shot, they might use a size seven. But for the models, since they're all usually pretty tall, they would probably have nines and tens in the closet. Oh, well, good. good. What size are your feet? Nine. Nine. Mm. European 40. Pff, whatever, I'm a nine, too. Okay? She's trying to drop in. <laughs> We're all tall here. They can't see us standing. <laughs> I know. I wish you could see our shoes tonight. 
I have hey. neon like highlighter yellow green color heels. I have blue suede. Show your shoes. flexibility. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're in a dress. I could actually just <laughs> well, take my shoe could. off. Oh, bam! Oh, see, that's my shoe. I like the superhero blue shoe. It's a good shoe. <laughs> Thank you. It's a good shoe. I try. I've seen a better one though. Superhero oh. blue snakeskin red bottom. All right. Oh if you want to buy me the red bottom, uh, I think. No, I, I think we're all a little bit obsessed with Christian Louboutin shoes. But, yeah. But do you think this is crazy? Because look at what's happening right now. We totally just went on a tangent about shoes. Like this is really what happens in the fashion world. Like <laughs> I even do it with sneakers sometimes. I'll be like, wait, this sne like I can't wear this. Like I want to wear these sneakers. They're comfortable. They feel good with this outfit. So it's like whoever you are, I think this really happens that you design from the bottom up a lot. Shoes yeah. make the outfit. They do. Or break the I outfit. Was, yeah. Oh. Good That's one. awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. So like Heidi's shoes. <laughs> shoes. They were spray were... painted gold. Sorry, I'm done. We're over it. We're over it. We're over it. <laughs> She's a keeper. <laughs> we like her. Thanks, guys. Inspiration for the challenge, shoes. Yeah, they get $250 to spend at Mood, and um, we see that some of the designers do really well on this fashion quiz that lets them choose shoes based on their answers or who gets the right answer and since and some do really bad oh aka miranda right since alexandria won the Gosh. last week's challenge she got to choose first without having to answer any questions in the quiz and then they ask questions about um shoes in fashion and different silhouettes of dresses and who created what and some of the designers were even giving the other designers a hard time since they didn't know their fashion history. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. I think well two things in there. Number one about Alexandria, what she picked I think that shows a lot of confidence for her. She Absolutely. did not pick an easy shoe. Let's talk about the shoe. Yeah. I mean, it was like a above-the-knee, warrior-like, strappy, leather... Gladiator sandal flats. Yes. The size of my body. Yeah. That's and here's the thing. I saw those all over the runway last season, I want to say. I Who makes those? I think they're Givenchy. Ooh. But I they're freaking hard to wear. Right. And they really, were, they're only runway shoes. Who would you, who could you and, see wearing those? Right, and like true. they were saying, it's so easy to screw that up. Like, it's so easy to make an outfit look terrible with those. You know yeah. what I mean? She, over-designed. She, yeah, over-designed or under-designed or something. And, I mean, she winds up having a very good balance, but... However, did you guys notice that Alexandria's model, Ya is her name, when they put the sandals on her, they had, like, kneecap pieces of leather to go over the knees and she's so tall that the knees they were like underneath, underneath yeah. where her knees are <laughs> her poor <laughs> knees were pushed up too they were like buckled in like yeah like, but she carried it off anyway she did she did she did well she really which is did. which is weird too because you know if if those boots are because the other boots that i guess jeremy wound up taking at the end his boots i remember had a weird knee length too like it, it like mm. here's the kneecap like it was right in the middle of the kneecap which i find is really weird usually it's like above or below but like it's right. never straight in the middle so i wonder if even though they said maybe. they had multiple sizes it wasn't really the proper size well maybe it's the model's height True. right as well. shoes aren't necessarily designed for production <laughs> for our height they're designed for the majority of women out there to wear and it hit the right spot on them. Um, so, like right below the knee. You yes. think that would make them, well, not that they have the problem looking shorter, but you would want to elongate the leg, either make it taller or a little bit above the calf. So on, on most it. women, it would go above the knee. Yeah. 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 So they get 20 minutes to sketch their looks at Marie Claire. They go to Mood, and as Alina said, they have $250 suggested spending budget from GoBank. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I have to mention something at Mood this week. I don't know if you guys noticed it out there, but Tim Gunn let Swatch the dog give him some kisses. It was just very yeah, was cute. cute. A little cute. moment. It was a little nugget. <laughs> it was a, nugget. a little nugget. I'd have to say, dog. too, real quick, sorry, one other thing I wanted to say about the contest is that I was really impressed that Ken right away jumped in and got the first question right. That's right. Ken, did he? Yeah, he did. It was uh, the Red Bot the Louis Vuitton. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it was just very, like... I don't know, and, and in the end, too, and, you know, I, I know we jump around a little bit with this show because we see the end, but, like, he's, as much as I hate to say it because I think he's a beep beep, beep mm -hmm. <laughs> he's kind of, like, coming into it in a, in a different way. I disagree with you. Okay. I think that's common knowledge, and because Christian Louboutins are so commercial now, they're so popular, everybody wears them, rappers rap about them, freaking 
This oh, girl wears true. um Drug yeah. dealers, girlfriends wear them. Like, it's just so popular now that everybody knows yeah, he was about just trying to show Louboutin. Off. You know? Right, but not, not everybody knows it comes face. from the, no- the nail polish. Not everybody. No, That's not true. common knowledge. No. So it would like people do know the red bottom, but I feel like he, like he was even maybe it was just the editing that makes that made wanted to make me think this because they were saying like you show him being like I'm nervous, all these people are better than me, they'll know more, and then he gets the first right answer. So maybe they, maybe they the said the magic of editing. That. Yeah. That's yeah. editing. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, okay. All right. Let's <laughs> before we get into the workroom, should we talk about cereal buddies? Oh yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, it's a movie. So here at AfterBuzz, we have lots of things going on, lots of fun, exciting things. Our two creators, Maria Menounos and Kevin Undergaro, also made a movie called Serial Buddies, which is available online. I think you can download it on our website, iTunes, everywhere that you can order something online, you can go there. Search for it. It's awesome. It's super funny. It's kind of like... If I had to like say, it's kind of like Dexter meets Dumb and Dumber. So it's it's super fun. Go check it out. Help support them. They support us, these shows that we're bringing to you. And, you know, we love bringing you the shows. We love that you guys comment on iTunes and uh, YouTube. and Yeah, you know. get into that, too. Yeah. We need you guys to rate us on iTunes, co- leave yeah. comments. Tell leave us what you like. Tell us what you don't YouTube. like. We like to read the comments. Yeah. I yeah. appreciate the comments from last week. People were... Curious where I was. Everybody oh, missed Stepsy. I'm yes. back. We missed her too here in the studio. We yeah. did. So we match that. Let's get back to the workroom <laughs> though. Yeah. First thing I noticed personally was Alexandria was getting criticized. Surprise, surprise, by Ken and others. Too simple of a dress. I think she had the right idea from the beginning. I might be biased, but I think she has the best taste. Like I said, Swedish yeah. girls. I think I might be yeah. in slow motion tonight a little bit because I'm still stuck at mood. Like I feel like <laughs> I feel like we need to discuss how Miranda and Alexander got the same fabric. Uh, well, yeah, let's uh, discuss it in the workroom. Yes. We see them okay. both making plaid, plaid red, pants. right? Yeah. But and it was clear that she had the fabric first, and then she he was, was, it was in her basket. It was in her basket, and he still chose to do that, which you know, in the workroom was criticized because. Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, if you saw someone else had it, I would be like, mm, me. Here's me. Maybe you could one. go for a different color of yeah, plaid Yeah, there was something. tons of colors there. Yeah, but, but he wanted it, and it did add a whole bunch of extra drama to the show. Like, the camera shot, both of the pants in that one frame. Yeah. It like, it was, it was good for the show. Yeah. And I think his mentality as a designer was, I'm way better than her. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna about, about to beat her at her own game. His, his, his exact words were, her stuff is beep. Like, that's. <laughs> said, so, can I say shit? Sorry, beep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm new, guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You know, um, Alexander, though, he originally sketched his design with the red plaid pants, so he was going for a fabric that he really wanted organically right. from his shoe selection, so I think that's good that he stuck to what he really wanted. Yeah, but he was stressing in the workroom. Like, like you saw a little bit of insecurity come from him, which I haven't seen before. Hmm. He's usually just very cocky. Yeah, so very I think, collected. Yeah, so I think that was interesting that, you know, yes, he stayed to his guns and did it, but he was also a little bit, like, insecure. And then he was kind of, like, dilly-dallying around, just, like, kind of, like, watching Jeremy's stuff and talking. And, and it needs to be said that eventually... He has to sew his model into the red plaid pants. Yeah. Fit. Just like Olivia Newton John in the last scene of Grease. That's what I thought of. I don't know if you've heard that story out there of how she had to be sewn in. That stuck with me. Yeah. So that's what it made me think of. And speaking of stress in the workroom, I feel like everybody was taking a little long and they were stressed about time. At least that's Does what the editing time always makes- stay the same, do we know? Well, every time, every challenge they have either a day or half a day or 12 hours or whatever it is, uh, so it's different. But, like, as the show goes on, and, and I should know this answer, and I just i am blanking, but as the show goes on, it doesn't get shorter and shorter time. No, I don't think it's so. different uh, from challenge to challenge. I, I read de- that. Okay. Depending yeah. on what they have to make. Right. Was there, before mm-hmm. we get into Tim Gunn and more of the workroom stuff, did any look stand out to you in the workroom where you were like, uh, wow, that's going to be beautiful? At first... Braden stood out to me. I liked I the like bu- bouillonie technique, I think is what it's called. That's true. The yeah, bubbling it, water, boiling bouillon. water. The technique. French technique. It's it a very delicate drape of a fabric. It looked really cool when he was first doing it. I was impressed. The first two pinches. I was like, yeah. ooh, that's yeah. going to be nice. <laughs> and, yeah. really I was like, ooh. and then I was like, oh. 
little bit. I think it would have worked, wound up working better on the skirt. Like if there was like a wave pattern on the bottom that was done like that, I think that would have maybe better than a the better. circle skirt. That yeah. was maybe he should have stuck with his original idea. Yeah. yeah. You know what I wanted to see with the two plaid pants? I was hoping for like a plaid tuxedo pant, like plaid base with like a black cummerbund with like a black stripe down the side, like that would rocking been out dope. tuxedo mm. black, like plaid tuxedo pants. Miranda could have done that. She was going like, for right. It. If yeah. if hers would have been like that, mm -hmm. and then like the polka dot. Like, everything would have just worked, I think. I and it was sick. also weird that they both did white tops as well. Yeah. 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 I do I have to like... stick up for Miranda, though, because I haven't really liked her. She was very timid, so to watch her on camera is very boring. You do want to, not drama, but you want someone with a lot of personality, very confident. So I have to give her props for sticking to her guns. And when she saw him run with the fabric, she kept the fabric. She went with her idea. She stuck to it and loved it so and yeah, tim gunn even true. tried to tell her maybe you should try a different fabric for the top mm -hmm. the polka dot looks yeah. inexpensive it doesn't look like a yeah. wow fabric to well use. she was discouraged from tim's last comments that she followed and then mm -hmm. it wound up sucking Fighting her yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so i speaking of brayden as well i just have to mention i didn't like his fabric choice from the beginning I hate to go back to mood again but yeah it's okay. Go like, back to mood again. <laughs> you know, I didn't get it. It was cheapy, weird looking, ugly color. He, was, he had these shoes that were flat loafer, like the smoking flat style. Yeah. And it was but. almost in a leopard print pattern, but without the black. It was just the glittery gold. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was more just the gold. I but it, was, yeah, like, it had like dots. something, like some sort of... Hmm. Bedazzlement on gold it. With, Bedazzlement. with gold with glittery <laughs> makeup terminology here too. <laughs> and I, so I think good. he could have done like a sleek suit, like a tuxedo inspired. He would've, that would have been, been a sick hot. shirt. Yeah. If he did the thing like on a tuxedo yeah. shirt, like if it would have been like you oh. know like the cummerbund, not the the bib type. Mm -hmm. that I just have been a, sick I too. have a feeling those weren't the shoes that he really wanted because he was third from the last to pick yeah. his shoes. So he was a little at a loss at mood. Yeah, Maybe. He didn't seem confident when he said, like, a swing dancer. I was yeah. thinking, like, I w if I was put that outfit on stage, I'd cra be crapping my pants. It wasn't the nicest. Right? <laughs> it looked See, like I didn't hate it, it that much. It did look like a costume. Uh, it didn't look like it belonged on a runway, and it didn't look expensive, but it looked fun. You would wear it and like twirl your little circle skirt. It really in your high heels. It, <laughs> I would just put a tutu right over that thing. <laughs> Good to go. But circle skirts are not stylish right now. They're very dated. Well, very it was see, but I've got a problem with well, and this is just my own personal thing. That whole like stylish right now, like that's. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay. Like, I don't like the in, the, the right app, You know what I mean? Steph like, doesn't follow trends. She sets no, them. No, exactly. Oh. So, but the thing Watch is, out well, now. because the way that it works is you, you design some stuff, you show it at a show, the buyers buy it, and that's the next trend. So, really, the designers do. You know what I mean? And having my brand be in Saxon Neiman's, like, I understand the whole way that it works and people that feel that they can't, you know, they're not in because they don't have the right thing. Like, I don't, I just don't like that whole message because I feel like if his skirt would have had a different top, a different color, a little bit of different cut, like it could have worked. Like I don't think it could not work just because that style's out. Well, I agree and disagree because the skirt actually was just in such a heavy fabric. I don't know if it was really right. heavy, but it looked heavy. It looked wintry. It didn't feel like it should go with the top. It was just two different outfits. Totally. Yeah, yeah just, the outfit didn't work. I agree with you. Yeah. I think it was but just, he could have made he could have made an outfit work with that skirt even though that might not be in. I think it was dated, matronly, ugly it, fabric. Yeah. Well, what did <laughs> Ken ugly say? Fabric. It was his right. great great grandma's at her funeral or something. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh. He said Ken it looked is, like what whoo. his grandma would wear in Ken, the coffin. Yeah. That's Ken woke great, up on the wrong grandma. side great, of the bed grandma. for this oh, episode. Yeah, Ken needs a round bed. Always. He's he needs the a, one instead I of a round in skirt, face. he needs a circle bed. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> they sell them at Wait, why, what did he say? Be seated. Be seated. He also said, you out of order. Yeah. You what? You out of order. You can't stop, Ken. Okay. You've got a lot to Ken. say. All right, Jeremy's look. I was torn because in the workroom, one second I was like, ooh, I like this. The next second I didn't. However, right. from the beginning, I was like, with those boots, it could look like a pretty woman outfit. That's yeah, what I was that's saying. And I turned to about. TJ, yeah. and then I heard Amanda say it, and I was like, it's risky, over-the-knee boots. Yeah. That weren't over the knee because the model's too tall. <laughs> but, <Right. laughs> 
But I liked the idea of where he was going with his sweater look. Uh, it was a white chiffon. Uh, it could have been terrible. good. No, it's it could have. No, take it off and wipe it could have been and... good with something else on the bottom and not those boots. Circle skirt? Like just a different. No, <laughs> like a pant, like some kind of dark jeans or something. I, I agree. I'm, 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 I'm with you there. It could have been better with a different. If it would have just had like a high heel. Yes. And a pant. Yeah, a that, jean. You would I would definitely not wear it, but oh. it would look better than what he what was there. Yeah, Here's maybe. the thing: I didn't like the gold. You guys under all it. loved it in the beginning. I did. I was torn, but when I saw it up close, it was terrible. I didn't like the gold <laughs> under it, and I didn't like that it was off the shoulder. Then it really validated the pretty woman look. But yeah. off, okay, like legit I the 80s. Off the shoulder was yeah. cute though. It was cute, but it was that was the fact yeah, that it was tissue it was, paper. And then he mm-hmm. tried to own that it wasn't pretty woman. He's like, oh my that didn't God. even come into That mind. didn't cross my mind. Pretty woman. <laughs> you should have just Every put her hair made but her those, like mine. Those boots it. are Aquanet. difficult. What, what could he have done, or what could a designer have done with those boots? What would have been better? I would have done, like, really fitted pants, a nice pant. I don't know. Yeah, but a underneath the cheek. Yeah. Under it. Something. Or a, lo- a longer skirt with slits. Something. You could have done something to offset Maybe like a, a flowier dress. Yeah. Haley said jeans, and then I was trying to think the jeans uh, underneath the know. boot, and then it could have looked like you're ready to jump on your horse. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It would have looked just, equestrian I didn't for like sure. like the boots. Anyway. They were a difficult choice. I the think. slit in the back of the boot was really nice. At first I the said, slit- oh, but then when the back view of the model is beautiful with the slit in the back. So it was just well, the wrong yeah, because st- she did no, there was no tissues on the back either. <laughs> <laughs> wow, New York came out. <laughs> yeah, I was just there. Either. Sorry, <laughs> like I was just there. Leave me alone. I was just there. Oh, I love it. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, so and Jeremy I didn't get the pretty... black memo too. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> by the way, you guys, oh, Stephanie man. was very hurt by Amanda and I's choice to coordinate our plaid shirts. The one time she had a matching shirt. No, no, I us. wasn't offended. She was highly offended. I w- <laughs> she was about to walk out on us tonight. Oh, such a liar. Oh, no. I just questioned, it. was it ironic or did you guys email you each other? You were mad. She was mad. Thank you. <laughs> See? We just... Unbiased source. <laughs> we heard it here first. biased. She's been here for three hours. I was inspired by the glamping theme. Yeah. Plaid shirt, camping, fancy necklace, glamping. Okay. Dom. <laughs> Have you glamped? Glamping's fun. Dom had the fun, funky, I don't even know what oh, you call those. What shoes. is the name oh. of the but, style of these shoes? But Prada made They're like, like Doc Martens. They're clunky Doc Martin loafer shoes. Yeah. I, just like, I don't know. I don't like those shoes. I don't like the shoes either, but I thought she took a risk by picking them. And then I thought she took it. Yeah, I agree with you. It was a risk. It was color. It could have went. Like if she would have just made like a solid, sick looking dress. I love the dress she made. I wish it were like black and white and not the exact matching colors. Yeah, it was a blank. I would wear that in Canada in winter with a toque. The dress fabric looked like a quilt. It looked like a quilted fabric and it added too much uh, thickness to the model's body. I I don't mind the design of the, the, the breast cups. Was low. It was. Yeah. It looked. It made it look weird. Like it was a weird proportion. Steph is on top of the breast cup discrepancies on this show. Wow. She noticed Helen's discrepancies. But you guys agree with me every single time. What are you trying to say? (laughs) No, I'm saying you're a good designer. You know how to recognize fit and how it should be sitting on the body. Yeah. You just. You always notice it first. All right. All right. Gotta look good. Yes. Karen, I thought she got these nude shoes, strappy sandals with a neon strap, and then she started making this neon top and skirt dress. And I thought it was too matchy. It's yeah, neon, you said that right away. yellowish green. Yeah, and like our mic. It was a good she, yellow, though. She, no, like, yellow. But it was mimics a good the exact color in the top half of the dress, and then she makes a jacket to go over it, and the jacket looked like an afterthought. It was so sloppy. But I loved mm. the lines. Like, that cut in the top was absolutely stunning, and to match the line of the shoe, yeah, the colors were definitely too matchy-matchy. You said that right away, but I love the line. Like, that's so classic, especially on a, a woman with not huge breasts that yeah. just, like, it's beautiful. I love the dress. Even in the workroom, I just mm-hmm. didn't think it was great with the shoes. Now, Karen, yeah. I'm noticing a theme with her in this show. She is a very literal designer. Like, last week, she was, like, inspired by the tent and created yeah. a dress inspired by the tent. Now she's inspired by a shoe, and she makes it exactly like the shoe. So she's taking it literally. I think she's also a very commercial designer. 
Yeah, which yeah, kind like, of works in a way. Mm -hmm. But for Project Runway? No, but she, she kind of just, like, she doesn't have a showstopper, but she kind of flies under the radar and makes it work. Okay. Because because there's a bunch of different judges there and they don't love it, but they all can un they can relate somewhere in their, you know, portfolio they've seen something like it. Karen's mm. construction skills have gotten better throughout the season, I think. Yeah. So tell You know what too in the workroom when I've noticed this episode in particular and I don't know if anyone else has noticed it, usually when they were doing the interviews, they would more so, like, no one really talked about their piece anymore. All they're doing is talking about everyone else's pieces. Did you notice that? Yeah, that's a good point, but Ken, yeah. and Ken even mentioned that all the bad, well, not the bad, but the weaker designers were off the show now, so they have more competition. Yeah, like, but the, there's definitely a little bit more, like, of a pissing contest. It, well, it's on. getting serious now, so. Yeah. And but, really, I have to yeah. say, everybody's pretty talented. Yeah, I, maybe I'm part, just yeah. comparing it to last season where I thought nobody was talented. <laughs> it's possible. Bam, yeah. nobody. Oh, even Kate, I wasn't that impressed with, and this season she's bringing it. Yeah, I wonder too, like if they if they add anything to the show or if they change anything from season to season. That's like, oh, we we need more, you know, this or that because these designers were weak or the challenges have to get better or there's got to be more unconventional challenges because there's more this mm -hmm. time than of course well, I think ever. they would definitely think about how to make it more exciting yeah, yeah. Depends they on do ratings. last season it was team uh, challenges like throughout the a whole lot. season the entire season yeah it was like yeah that's right. yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe that's why I didn't like it either and I couldn't tell who was good mm -hmm. yeah. all right Helen she had time consumption issues I like that like the sketch, I like the idea of her outfit, and then once we get onto the runway, we'll talk about the actual execution. Tim but Gunn gave so her some far. really good advice. I think you guys already mentioned it a little bit, but I just liked how he told her to keep it simple, and how she was gonna add all these embroidered appliques of floweriness to it, and he, Tim <laughs> Gunn just said, please keep it simple, it's so much more modern this way, mm -hmm. and thankfully she listened to him. Best yeah, advice. That, yeah. yeah. Yes. It would have been tragic with all that hangy mm. stuff hanging off of it. Oh, she's becoming a she's evolving. Yes, Helen definitely. She wasn't one of my favorites. No, and her construction skills have improved. Yeah, enormously. I feel, like, I feel like too. I feel like it was somewhat of a front, maybe, and not to go completely into just judging her character, but in a way that's what we're here to do. But like, <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, like it was like this this front in the beginning. Like she didn't like Kate right away when she got off the plane. You know what I mean? And then she partnered with Kate, and she was like, oh my god, I'm learning something. And it's like she has this wall up mm -hmm. yeah. that, that makes sure. totally. But like, she's getting more and more comfortable, and her wall is coming down more and more. So she's more and more open to like what Tim's saying or what she can learn and she's coming into her own and I think it's really good to see she's kind of becoming one of my favorites. I yes. like that. Yeah. That's a good analysis. Mm -hmm. She's Sweet. a strong contender. She's she believing is. in herself now. Yeah. It Which, shows in her work too. Yeah, it does. And she's not like as petty. Like in the beginning I feel like she was just petty and had like a like a roughness to her like just stand over there. Like I'm over here. And now she's like, "Hey." Well, probably because this. Sandro's not around. Aww. She doesn't have to put up with that attitude. I saying. almost I almost called Sandra when I was in New York last week. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have time. Oh. I was like I was literally walking through this city and I was like, I should totally text. Or tweet Why Sandra. didn't you do that? I didn't have you time. You probably would have had the best night of she your life. Was, it probably I would have had to call all of you. Were you afraid? <laughs> I was you not afraid. afraid. I can afraid. hang. Afraid. I'm a afraid. <laughs> I could totally hang. It was they would have become best friends. <laughs> yeah, Sandro, oh next God. time. October. I'm going to be in New York, Sandra. I'm calling you. I love it. He's going to tweet you right now, I bet. I'm okay with that. I like Sandra. All right, Sandra. Let's get into <laughs> the runway. Um, so we yes. see Kaylee Kuko. She's the guest judge. And then the other mm -hmm. guest judge was the Marie Claire editor-in-chief. Yes. Yeah. And, and Heidi's outfit. And Well, and Ka Kaylee Kuoko is, is the star Kuoko. of Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory. Theory. Yeah. And, yeah, Heidi comes out in this sparkly... Mini. Mini dress, and it's like kind of tight, but better than the first the one. I yeah. like this one. I like oh, the well, sheer shoulders that she has on. And it's, she's wearing Christian Louboutin Pigali. I nude. can't stand yeah. those love nude red right Pigali. I, I can't love stand them. them. Those are my favorite shoes on her. I, I, just, yeah. And I like the pointy toe That's versus the, the round toe. Uh, but look at her outfit. Like, it's a little bit frumpy, it's not flattering. 
It, but I feel like on no. camera, not in the still shot, but it did. It looked nicer. It had a nice flow to it. If not anybody around her can butt, wear it. It's her. and it looks. Yeah. Good she in can the wear anything ups. though. You could put her in a, a sheet and she'd look good. Like mm -hmm. it's like she always looks good, but I, I feel like she's definitely looked better and classier and more sophisticated to but show more of her shape. But maybe she wants to wear things that are a little bit more forgiving because she's you know getting up. There. Are you trying to say she put on a few pounds? No. I'm saying she's I'm like, because I think she looks great. No, you know, if anybody does not need any forgiveness, it's that. No, yes. she, looks, she looks incredible. <laughs> she's working out very hard. But I, yes. I'm just saying she has a few kids, and maybe she wants to be I a little think she could take it. Girl, she tweets naked pictures every other day. She's you, like, here's you're not my wrong. German ass. Here's my German boobs. Here's my German <laughs> stomach. Here's my... You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. She's pretty, like... <laughs> I, like, to get like Heidi Klum, yeah. well done. Yeah, okay. okay. That's all I need to be Well said. done. Yeah. I didn't like the shoes, though. But anyway, it's just my oh opinion. Oh, my God. I know you all disagree. Oh, it's okay. The They're Christian Louboutin Pigali, 120 centimeters. We love. I thought we, we were friends. So I thought we were friends. The shoes. <laughs> I'm just, it's just a boring shoe to me. Like, I'm more of a fan of your superhero blue shoe. Ooh. Thanks. They're a good yeah, shoe. Yeah, you can't even compare Well, them. when you That's put it that way. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> moving along. Yes. And I really like the the guest judge Kaylee. Mm -hmm. she, I feel like she was super well spoken. Yeah, that's what we were saying. I was impressed. Actually. Yeah, she, she had some good opinions. On yeah, the looks. like she got into it. She wasn't like you can tell she really has a passion for fashion. <laughs> <laughs> And she wasn't that just was saying. So cute. She wasn't just looking at the outfit, going, "Oh, I would wear that. I wouldn't wear that." She yeah. was looking at it as a designer's point of view. Right. And she was still polite. And I, she said, "I'm sorry. If I just wouldn't wear that." I thought, which I thought was very endearing. She was, yeah, yeah polite yet opinionated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Not too. Which polite. is hard for people to do sometimes, yeah. especially when they have like their show to keep. You know, viewers watching and like sell themselves. They don't want to like. Well, she did a great job. Yeah, she was she real. She was yeah. real. And I loved Kaylee too. I agree with you guys, but I kind of wish like Manolo Blahnik or Christian Louboutin, who we've dropped, you know, 15 times, oh, was yes. the guest judge. A I mean, a famous shoe designer. Hello. Famous shoe designer. Yeah, Hello. that would have been. Mm -hmm. That would have been Charlotte a Charlotte Olympia. Olympia West. Somebody yeah. like that. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Next time. But they couldn't have Jessica Show notes. Simpson because she was on Fashion Star. So. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> she has a great shoe you know, line. How are you going to compare her to? I'm just <laughs> saying she would Dude, have a reason. She's a billion dollar entity. That's she what I'm is. saying. She has she a is, big but... shoe line. And I actually have a couple pairs. Really? And I like good shoes. Know, but, but in the same not... sense, like with the whole, you know, winnings of this show, the whole Belk market, like it's not too far fetched to have her. But she does do Fashion Star, which is another great yes. show. But I wouldn't yes. And Fashion Star actually has John Barbados, too, which is cool. That's right. All right. So let's get to the looks coming Can down the runway. Can I wouldn't buy it just because it's Jessica Simpson? No, because I respect oh. her as an artist. Sorry, she got my comment. Oh. Um, but I, just because it's too much advertisement for her, everything is Jessica Simpson. Like the right. big JS. I don't want to wear shoes that have her name all over them. Like I love the very subtle advertisement. Oh, the branding is too yeah. much on the clothes. Got it. Oh, got right. It. But, but I would wear it like without yeah. anything on like logos yeah. on it though yeah. i have a friend yeah. actually too um it's a little bit for that and there's a brand i love a g-star is a great brand mm -hmm. and but they've gotten to the point where they're totally doing that and a friend of mine he actually takes all his stuff to the denim doctor and takes the logos off really i like but that he just yeah. likes his stuff but takes off yeah cool. i'm not into labels either yeah I like I the louis vuitton you. everywhere with the big lv sorry no disrespect <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> There's, There's like four of them on the couch over there. There's One is oh. not mine. No, Louis, Louis. Not Listen, mine. Louis, Louis. that's a classic, but yeah. I wouldn't wear Louis Vuitton shoes. No, not with the logo all over the shoes now. Okay, I see I'm what you're saying. You know, yes. like, uh, it, too much can be expensive. Or like the Gucci but. shoes with the GG -G all over the shoes. Like the big buckle on the top. Yes. Yeah. Or it's head so, to toe. It's too show-offy. <laughs> Like, here I am with Poster my labels. Child. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Gucci Mane, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Gucci let's Mane. move on to Ken. Yes, Ken. Uh, you know what, though? Him. Why we're on Louboutin real quick? You know what's something they do that really pisses me <laughs> off? What? Do you, I, I'm pretty sure it's Wait, this brand. Wait, Louboutin or Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton, okay. not Red Bottom. Okay. <laughs> they, with all of their extra stock, they don't sell it. They burn it. Did you guys never hear this? I didn't. No. Yeah, like, they won't sell to, like, one-offs or, like, you know, Nordstrom Rack or whatever. They, like, whatever is 
their knockoff or whatever it would be, I'm pretty sure it's Louis Vuitton. I will check that fact for next week, but there is a big brand that I'm pretty sure it's Louis Vuitton that they burn, they it. burn it. They so. burn their excess. But they're probably burning it so it doesn't get resold. However, so. I don't think a lot of the classic bag they would have to get rid of because they always are going to sell well, it. Let's say, the classic yeah. ones. let's say there's a ding while the in production. Some people may sell it and like sell it as a sample or cheaper. Oh, a defect. Yeah. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Hmm. Okay, so I was actually really pleasantly surprised Let's get into Ken. by Ken's look on the runway this week. And I have to say the model did a really good job. Um, her name is Laura. And I, I just was very surprised. I was like, wow, oh my God, that's from Ken? What'd you think, PJ? I, the textures were so nice, and that's what I appreciated. And I would definitely wear that dress. It was, I thought it was cute, too. Mm-hmm. Which it was a little black dress. It had a peplum, and the, it, like you mentioned, oh. it was a textured fabric. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for Ken, I thought it was good because it was simple. I wasn't in love. I thought yeah. the reason that I liked it and we all liked it is because it's very wearable. But and the little zipper too. There was and, just a few details I really liked. And he really did a good job listening to Tim Gunt because originally he had sketched a dress with a big voluminous bottom of it, like like a poof. This, yeah, mm -hmm. a poof that would like land above the knee, and that looked. I cringed when I saw that, so at least he removed that part of it. And he, the peplum has been done, but his was a little bit longer of a peplum, so. And it, exaggerated. It, it was exaggerated, mm -hmm. and it was very flattering on, I think, not just the model, but anyone. And the sketch mm. had the puffs on the sleeves, too. So Which I'm yeah. happy that those came off. The puffs and the puff, it's like yeah. a 60s pom prom dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been too much. <laughs> Steph C. Real quick, yes, this rumor appears to be true. Similar to Chanel, Louis Vuitton happens to burn leftover goods at the end of the year. If the bags are not sold, they burn them in order to prevent putting a lower price on them. Nice. What is that from? Where'd you find it? Uh, I'm just all curious. over Google. I mean, oh. like I know I've heard it before, but it's you know. Wow, that makes me really sad about it the makes Chanel. Me so sad. It makes me sad too because oh. there's a lot of like, do you know like how many you know, and not to go left, but like they could like auction those off at like charity events. They could do so mm. much good with all of that. So that makes me a little bit not a they fan. They could of even the brand. donate them to people that you right. know, would really appreciate that. That makes and me Chanel billionaire company is yeah. usually really soft calf leather. That's so right. Beautiful too. And this is another so gonna another going this. left here, but isn't that the same sort of thing that Abercrombie and Fitch does? They don't want to donate their leftover clothes. Really? Yes. Oh, that I was know. a big thing in the news a couple of months ago. Huh. But I digress. Alexander. So Alexander. Digress. Let's yeah. move on to him. Moving on. He has the plaid pants with the white top. I thought I wrote cool, fun top, good fit. <laughs> I wrote don't like alien. Yeah. I wrote nope, <laughs> Asian origami. That's what I wrote. <laughs> well, the shirt I, was like. I don't know if it was just the pants, how they fit the model or what, but she, her walk was not great. I didn't think she added to the outfit at all, but, you know, luckily the top was so architectural that I think it, it kind of saved the whole look. Yeah, I think his pants just didn't fit. No, mm -hmm. they How's made they made it? her who is you know clearly m most models are very fit. Some of them need a burger, but like she was a very <laughs> fit model. Yes, yeah, she and was in she shape. looked like those pants didn't look flat. Like she looked like she had hips. You know what I mean? Like they were too tight, and like you know she couldn't get her ankles. In. Like it just didn't. I thought the pants yeah. weren't a good cut at all. I and mean, I was really shocked that he wasn't in the bottom because I mean he had to cut the bottom to get her in there. Yeah. yeah. How about I thought it was weird. Next look was Miranda. And I thought that, that course, was weird right they after. put her right after because she, again, had the plaid pants, the white top with the white jacket. I thought it was whatever. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But actually, when I was watching the show, I thought her pants were better. That's what I'm saying. I thought her pants were better, too, because his pants didn't fit, and they made her look, the, the model look weird. Yeah. And like, she probably couldn't walk because they weren't comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Too tight. <laughs> Right. I don't know. When I saw Miranda's come up, I wrote, "If I wore this outfit, I'd be an angry elf." So, <laughs> and funny because like later Christmas. we'll get into it. But Nina yeah. Garcia said it was like Christmas. she said, "Where's the eggnog?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great minds. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Love me some Nina. So yeah. Dom's look comes out next, and it's based on these shoes we talked about with the giant platform. It's the same level platform all around, and it's like a Oxford sneaker. sneaker. It's like a loafer, loafer. sneaker combination and it's blue Clown. and purple and white and so she makes a dress that's blue and purple and white so it it is matchy but it's interesting i wrote bust 
I thought it was fun. I, I just, it was a bust. It was dude. a busted it, it bust. Was, yeah, it was, was my word. <laughs> it was a quilt. It was grandma's quilt. I liked it. I thought it was cute. I just wish it wasn't the same matching colors. I, I hate like matching the matching. sleeve too. Like everything. Like yeah. it was just not cute. It Bad was news just bears. And terrible I really liked fabric her. choice. I don't like the fabric. Yeah, yeah. fabric choice. Let's for a dress, it. it didn't go. Let's get into Justin. He made the black Love jumper it. with the really deep sweetheart neck and then a little jacket. I loved it. This yeah. is the best thing that Justin has made on Project Runway. Yeah, he I mean, improved so much from last week. Good, good thing. You know, he, you know, he needed to. But I really liked the jacket, and I, I liked the puffy pant. I feel like the puffy pants a little hard. Like you have to have a good. I mean, granted, they're making it for you know a runway, but like not everyone can wear that puffy pant. Like that puffy pant will make a lot of people look terrible. But their designs aren't for everyone. If it's right. a runway. You know, maybe mm -hmm. they could trans unless it's like a commercial challenge. I don't think. Right. I just don't think a lot of people would buy those pants in the store. But the I top, have a few pairs. as long as they're not the MC Hammer really low crotch, like this side poof, I think was fine, especially because it was so tight here in the bodice. So unless you had like a really big rib cage or yeah, he didn't really do the drop yeah. crotch yeah. like Alexandria did last week. What would yeah. you think, TJ? I know you liked it. Yeah, I wrote love, love, love. I'd wear it every day. Oh, it was I a loved hot it. Wow. Okay. And the shoes, that's definitely my style, the classic. And then give a pop with the shoe. I thought it was great. I loved it. It was. And I liked that it worked together, too, because the shoe was really fun. Right. Mm -hmm. like yeah. The outfit was understated. Right. Alexandria, I wrote oh. dope, expensive, high fashion. She just makes so really expensive. nice. So yeah. expensive. I high said, fashion. you yeah. better work it, yeah, the model. She's so good. It sounds weird to say her name, yeah, but that's her name. But she did such a good job. She adds so much to the dress i mean her whole look head to toe was perfect the judges even mentioned that they liked her styling of the dress with the shoes the soft versus the hard elements of the shoes and that dress was very simple it looked kind of like nightgowny like silky but it looked it went with the shoes i don't yeah. it wasn't silk though no. it was crepe yeah it crepe. looked more creepy okay. cotton okay yeah. but but she just she rocked it and i like the taste. subtle the subtle cuts you know what I mean? In the top, like the subtleness to like making it stay subtle, but still like some angles in there that she threw in there. I really liked it. The few pieces hanging on the side, she said to yeah. make it look her look longer. Karen. Yes. Well, I just wanted to add, I oh, think no. Alexandria has a really good restraint with her design. That's very important for a designer to know where to hold back. And this is the kind of dress that I think any department store would want to pick up. And I think all of us, I don't know about all you guys, but I definitely would want to wear it. I think a oh, lot yeah. of women out yeah. there would want to wear it. And yeah. it's still high That's fashion. A good point. Yeah. I would want to wear it if mm -hmm. I had the right body. Karen. You got the body. You're fine. <laughs> hey, you got it going on. Stop. Girl. No, Girl, okay. please. Okay. Karen had the neon shoes or the neon stripe on the shoe and then the neon top and dress. I thought it was okay. It was a cute dress. You know, mm -hmm. I like the cut, but I just didn't like the matching aspect. I I it thought, was just boring to me. It was boring. I thought the jacket was weird, and it made it look kind of sloppy. Yeah, yes. I didn't get the jacket at all. Yeah, jacket it, was a big... I think it what was... What is she doing? And I don't know if you guys saw, but it looked like the back was just like a thin strap. Of elastic. It looked elastic Yeah, it looked like a thin side. elastic like that just around the back, which made me kind of like she was trying to cover that up, but mm -hmm. it was kind of... I didn't like Did it. you guys notice that the model on the runway never took the jacket all the way off? She just kind of took it off to here on her shoulders and kind of showed the top of the dress mm. and put it back on. It was right. creasing on the sides, though. Like, it, a little bit. Like, you could almost... Not if, like, saying to zoom up on her nipple, but if you did, I'm sure the elastic, like, you could. If anyone was sitting like this, her nipple would be out. Wardrobe malfunction yeah. waiting to happen. <laughs> but but I think that Karen must have directed the model, like, don't really take it all the way off. That's we don't what, want yeah, them to the see back the back, back of the dress. It's right. not so great. We want to focus on the front. So, Brayden, he was my worst. I wrote ugly, ugly fabric, matronly. He had the poof, the A-line skirt that yeah. wasn't sh short. It wasn't a below the knee. And then, like, that scrunched. Oh, I, I don't even know. And the color was, um, <laughs> like, I don't even know, goldish. <laughs> it was shit. not gold, and it wasn't The color was gray. old lady meets grandma. <laughs> it was just yeah. grandma. It was cashmere. Sad. A color no one should wear, oh, unless right. they're a bridesmaid. Guys. And they don't have a sure, choice. it would have been black, Bad though. Bridesmaid dress. Way better. Oh. Anything in black is way better. True, but, uh, but <laughs> yeah. clearly I didn't get the memo, because I'm in blue and y'all are in black. But... <laughs> I don't get those emails. So I don't we know. We wanted it to be black and blue. Yeah, there like, you go. You know, like we got beat up or something. There you go. Okay. Tough but project. I wrote for Brayden. I put swing dancers. I don't hate it, but it's bad colors. 
swing dancer. That's a great. Mm. It was just such a disappointment from him like because we been expect a little dog. <laughs> we expect so much. He's made things at such a high caliber level of design. He should really stick to evening gowns. He's nope. such a great evening yeah. gown designer. When he deviates from the evening gowns, it's maybe kind it wasn't of a, disaster. a swing dancer. It was a swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, I like that. Thank yeah, you. Swing yeah. and a miss. Yeah. Uh, Kate, um, I thought the top had a bad fit. It was a white top. And then a long skirt with slits. I like this. Um, I like the whole look. I like the skirt, but the top just had a weird fit. What's going the on? The top. It was. It looked like it was too tight around the model's bust. And, however, I like that model's walk. She actually sold it the way she stood in the shirt. She tried to make it look better. You know, standing so straight instead of like exaggerating Such. her body one way or the other, because then it would have like separated the button. How can it be tight in the bust though? They have like they have no bust. Minus AA boobs. Not saying I have ginormous <laughs> boobs, but no, it's but because it's true. Kate, I think, just didn't sew it right. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I wrote for that? I think you guys might be a little bit shocked at what I wrote. Oh no. I wrote Madonna. Okay, Ooh, no, yes. no, I'm not shocked. kind of in the same page because I wrote if Lady Gaga went classy, like that's <gasps> Madonna. Oh, Look, at it's kind of same. Yeah, yeah, if Lady Gaga were classy, she would be Madonna. I, I wrote. Oh, oh. timeout. Oh, no one will Gaga ever be Madonna. Yeah. Rewind. No, rewind. You guys better stop talking about Gaga. No, because her fans she are crazy. She copies all Madonna's I music. I love Lady Gaga. What are you talking about? If I just think they're very Gaga. different. Dude, little monsters. I swear. Lady Gaga, <laughs> she's kind of the shit. But I'm just saying, her and Madonna are two completely different things. Yeah. Like what mm. she stands for. All mm. she does so much mm. charity work. Lady Gaga, she's she's kind of amazing. But Okay. I just feel like we that was have Madonna. to debate yeah. Lady Gaga versus Madonna. You don't like Lady Gaga? I like her fine, but I think that her song that she just performed at the VMAs, Applause, it sounds just like Girl Gone Wild by Madonna. It's Shall the same we? song. Yeah, get back I to the runway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same song. I, I didn't see it. But, but I auditioned for that and got cut, so. <gasps> but I'm still a Gaga. Can you teach us okay. to dance anyway? <laughs> Please. After. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, should we move on? To I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm sorry. Jeremy I'm and his <laughs> tissue pretty woman look. Oh, Jeremy. Um, he had the off-the-shoulder white sweaterish sheer thing with a gold cami under. I love you so black much right skirt. now because you were like, look at that sweater. That is hot. And now you're like, that sweater sucks. <laughs> I swear. I swear to you from... When I saw it at the workroom, out in the ain't no future in the front. I will tell you, I will say, I put it, I'll say first, that shit looked That's good from far, the night. okay? It looked good from far away, so it was a Monet. Uh, it was a Monet, it was good from far, but far from good. It, it just, and then like all together, it was totally 80s, it was pretty woman. Literally, yeah. Julia Roberts should have been wearing it. With the hair and everything. It still wouldn't have looked good even if she was wearing it. Well, it would, because she's amazing, but mm, it would have been. True. Great. Now Julia Roberts fans are gonna get on me. <laughs> the mo her uh, sorry, Jeremy's model was gorgeous though. She, I mean, I was trying to look underneath because I hated that sweater. As soon as I saw the sketch of the squiggles, I was like, okay. And so I just was looking at the model. She's not babe. sold on that sweater. No, but sorry, the model guys. was beautiful, and she did try to make it classier. She walked very, you know, straight. She didn't try to do a lot of hips, you know. So it didn't, you know, because on the wrong model, it could have looked much trashier. Let's just put it. Out there. It might have helped. Yeah, I think she. I think she. No, I think the model did help save it by you know making it look classy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Helen's look comes out down the Oh, you you taking my Helen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited to talk about it because I Helen, love that look go, so much. Amanda, talk about Helen. Oh my gosh, this is the best she's ever done oh, uh, that we know of on the show. Um. I even wrote down that the cape looked kind of like a, a beetle shape. Like it was a curve on her back. I gotta bring a bug into it. <laughs> no, like, this is the shape of like a beetle, the back of it, like very curved. I get what you're saying. You know, just, the effect. Yeah. Uh, but she didn't look like an insect. I'm not saying like yeah. that. I have no bug notes on that one. But, but <laughs> no, I like the curve of it. I like the cape lit. And I didn't realize until they looked at it closer that you could take the cape off, literally just lifting it off her shoulders. I thought maybe it, there was like a sleeve involved, but it was mm -hmm. just made the perfect way to hit the model's shoulders the exactly right. The seams were perfect. Yes. Oh, it looked, beautiful. It looked a little, it looked like strong, like superhero-like in a way. 
I thought it was perfect. It was my favorite yeah. look by far. It was, me it was too. well made. I think we expensive. all were like, whoa. Because yeah. no one expected that from us. Because in the workroom, too, we didn't get like a hint to that was what she was doing. Yeah. It was kind of like when it came out, it was like, bam. A ninja bomb. Bam. Look at this beautiful. Yeah, she walked out. Ninja and then bomb. even the dress underneath, the, the way it fit her body, it was so perfect. It was perfect. Tailored exactly. Yeah. L- literally, I think every judge was like, I want that, including Zach Posen. Yeah. <laughs> so, he would look great on that, too. He wished he, he would've would have put that you know, in his collection. I got to say, Zach Posen can kind of be a little bit picky, I guess is a good word. But boy, does that man have style. Yeah. He's yeah. always got it together. Mm-hmm. You've got it going on. Have you seen his designs? Dreams. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Dreams. Yes, I would have to agree. He's got that. Yeah. yeah. And Grace. So we Handsome is that okay. wait is Helen the last one? no yes Helen is the last oh, look yeah. Helen finished let's, it, yeah. let's get into the winner and the loser so good news first one of our favorites and my favorite tonight Helen, Helen! she wins yeah I, I was with you on that train woot woot yeah she's favorite? favorite yeah yeah favorite? She's oh my god unanimous yeah I I still love Alexandria. She's my Alex, favorite. Sh- well, not, she's not my favorite designer. I like Ken tonight, too. Oh, oh, yeah, my favorite look tonight. Favorite like look Ken? tonight was no. Helen. I never Oh, did. favorite look tonight? Yes. Favorite look tonight, uh, Helen. Yes. yes. Yeah. Favorite designer, Alexandra. Okay, but yes. uh, actually, I do have to say Justin, though, because if I were to think which one I would want to have in my closet and wherever, I would say Justin. That was a great look, too. Mm-hmm. For and me, he was just personally. Safe. But. And then the loser tonight was Miranda. Miranda. Womp you know womp. what? I didn't think she had the worst look. I thought Brayden did. However, I see their rationale because he's a better designer and, and has better taste. I feel like she's been, you know, she's been at the bottom more than Brayden. Brayden just had like an off night. Maybe, maybe they showed us that phone conversation because he actually like got into a fight with his partner or something. Maybe. But he, hmm. you know, he usually is on point. I think. Well, they see more potential in him. Zach Posen even said he kind of liked that Miranda's look is nerd alert, um, but he wishes it was actually more quirky and more mm. awkward and strange instead of... Mar- Miranda even said it was kind of rock and roll, which he didn't agree with. He said it was just quirky and weird and awkward. Yeah. And then made the model look like Amy Winehouse a bit. And yeah. mm-hmm. It was just a, a bit of a miss for her. Perhaps yeah. if Too they much. had styled it differently or... Yeah. I don't know. It, it was, But it was out tonight. It was yeah. on the bottom. Before we tell everybody where to follow us, I wanted to say thanks, TJ. Oh, you were awesome. Yes, I had a lot yes. of fun. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. You know, I, I wanted to, sorry. <laughs> I think it would be really interesting if they had one challenge where they had no shoes, no accessories. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Just outfits? Coming Just up the next outfit. week. Huh. All right. But TJ, what, what's your most recent thing that you have performed in or what do you, what's coming up for you? Um, I'm dancing all over the world, start rehearsals for China, leave to China soon, actually. Um, yeah. Ooh, was, what are you doing in China? Performing for a Buick car launch. Oh, congratulations. Wow, that's incredible. That Tell everybody where we can follow you and um, yeah, of course. find out more info. Uh, my Instagram is Tara Jean Popwich. You guys, everyone follow me. And yes. my Twitter is TJ Popwich, uh, spelled P-O-P-O-W-I-C-H. Just in case, um, website www.tara-gene.com. Updates all the time up there. So. Everybody follow Tara. She's awesome. And stay um, in tune with her. Also, you can follow me. <laughs> in tune? <laughs> la, 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 la. Bye. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> but you can follow me on Twitter at underscore Alina23. Girls. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I-A-M-S-T-E-F-Z. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Runway Queen. Ah, oh, bam. Like usual, <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you, guys. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.